Say to the believing men that they should lower their gaze and guard their modesty. That will make for greater purity for them and Allah is well acquainted with all that they do. And say to the believing women that they should lower their gaze and guard their modesty and they should not display their beauty and ornaments except what must ordinarily appear thereof. Hijab is my identity. The hijab means to be modest to me. My security, my protection. I would describe hijab in one word. I think it means modesty. Wherever I go, people recognize me. My hijab for me is basically my identity. First and foremost, it's, it's who I am and something that I've been asked to do by my God. Something that sets me apart and people immediately would know who I am, what religion I'm from and what others expect of me as well. I think the amount of representation is increasing day by day. Industry is becoming more inclusive of hijabi women. I, I feel more comfortable because um, if I would go to a fashion show earlier wearing my hijab, I wouldn't see many people there. But I can see fashion models wearing hijabs on the ramps now. So it's absolutely amazing. I think now uh, the fashion industry is evolving, it's changing in terms of uh, when it comes to modest fashion, it is more accepting. So you can see that there are so many faces that are breaking the stereotype. I can say that nowadays we have a place in the fashion industry. I, don't, I didn't feel that before because I don't feel like we belong in the fashion industry when we wear the hijab, but now it's totally different. The fashion industry for me still has a lot of holes to fill in terms of inclusion and diversity, which models, designers and what we see on the catwalk. I would love it to be more diverse and full of a range so everyone can like, you know, relate to and see it. The fashion industry is a tough one for inclusivity. The issue with it is that it definitely is an industry that is built upon classifying people and built upon having class differentiations. More and more now I feel that people are actually trying to work on inclusivity, but I think it's important to not look at it as an advertising or marketing ploy. I'm not sure if it takes out of the context, as well, but to tell you the truth, I, the way the, the Nike, the way they have at the moment taken out the hijab, it's very popular everywhere, showing the picture that okay, people can do exercise with hijab. <laughs> I've been doing it for all those years by just wearing this. I think there's a lot of demand for hijabi clothes and not just hijabs or scarves, but overall hijabi trends as well, so I think it's becoming more inclusive. I feel like recently in particular the fashion industry is recognising Muslim women a lot more and this can be shown through Christian Cowan's recent collection where he featured a crystal custom hijab worn by Halima Arden or designers like DKNY and Dolce & Gabbana creating smaller collections, like catering for the needs of Muslim women in particular. So I think this is a big step forward in terms of recognising Muslim women's needs and representing Muslims in fashion. What I hope will happen is what we've seen like happen in the beauty industry, like with Rihanna's Fenty launch that revolutionised the makeup industry after her inclusivity of people of all different shades, there's like no excuse for different brands to not represent. I believe the hijab is purely faith-based. I see hijab not as a fashionable item. I see it as my identity, protection and modesty. Hijab for me is definitely my identity. It's not anything to do with fashion. It's, it's something that is very religious. It's something that I will do and I have to do. Uh, I've got all logics to support why I do it and I don't even need a logic to explain why I do it because I've been asked why, by my court to do it and I will do it. And I believe in it. I, I feel it identifies me. I feel it gives me a sense of security. I feel it completes me as a woman. Alam nashrah laka sadrak wa wada'ana anka wizrak alladhi anqad dhaharak ورفعنا لك ذكرك 